Hello dear students, how are you? I hope you are fine. Dear students, I warmly welcome you to the online class of Monthly Government College and my today's class is especially for the uh, honors secondary students of English department and as you see on the screen today my uh, topic of discussion is a poem that is the tiger uh, which is actually taken from uh, songs of innocence and of experience uh, by William Lee and uh, you perhaps know that I have given you a lot of classes on songs of innocence and of experience uh, and when uh, the situation was normal and in the classroom definitely but uh, you know because of an unintended intruder our uh, march of life has hindered but we cannot sit idle and for uh, this reason actually our college authority has taken initiatives to give you online classes so that you can make some recovery of your loss so uh, from today on i try my best to give you uh, online classes continuously so that you can uh, cover your syllabus so let's read out the poem tiger tiger burning bright in the forest of the night so look at the uh, beginning of the poem how abruptly or how, how powerfully the poem starts tiger tiger burning bright look at the use of the phrases like burning bright all right in the forest of the night what immortal hand or eye could friend thy fearful symmetry look at uh, the questions the speaker is actually making questions or the speaker is actually wondering who might be the creator of such a powerful uh, creation such a powerful thing or how powerful might be the creator of such a powerful creation so here in this poem in in first four stanza you will see that the speaker actually keeps uh, asking questions about the creator uh, who created such a powerful being that's why the poet with wonder asks see tiger see with exclamation sign tiger tiger burning bright in the forests of the night the tiger is burning bright the eyes of the tigers uh, tiger burning brightly where in the forest in the deep forest of the night and then he uh, makes questions what immortal hand or eye who might be the creator whose immortal hand or whose immortal eyes could frame could make thy fearful symmetry thy fearful figure thy fearful frame then you see in what distant deeps or skies burn the fire of thine eyes look at the use of the words like fire so uh, these images these words actually you use symbolically here the fire words are actually used to symbolize some energy some wrath so the uh, speaker is wondering uh, asking questions uh, wondering with questions like in what distance uh, deeps or skies burn the fire of thine eyes he's asking from where from which unreachable place does the creator of you brought uh, those uh, those fires that are burning brightly on your eyes then see on what wings dare he expire what the hand dare seek the fire so with what wings that creator that powerful creator aspired to dare to bring the fire with those uh, hands what hands what what are those powerful hands that dare to bring that fire to create you so that is students as you see uh, see in first twist stanza we see that the tiger is just represented uh, uh, like a powerful being and the uh, or the poet or you can say the speaker uh, not have any answers he is just wondering who might be the uh, creator of such a powerful thing 
then you see and what shoulder and what are could twist the sneers of thy heart you see the speaker keeps asking questions he also asks and when the heart began to beat what great hand and what great feet see the speaker is actually making this type of question again and again because he is actually uh, wondering or he is trying to uh, 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 try, try to praise the tiger praise the um, the creation of the tiger that's why he is asking that is there anyone on earth that can challenge you that means that can is there any creation other than you that can challenge your feet so he asks and hey, uh, see and what shoulder or what are is there any such thing on earth that has that has or uh, that that much of energy uh, to challenge you can twist the sinews of thy heart is there anything on earth or that can uh, that can break your heart you see and when thy heart begin to beat when you start breathing that means when your life starts what great hand and what great feet who else on earth that can challenge you then what the hammer what the chain in what furnace was thy brain so the uh, question continues that uh, is there any chain or hammer that can engage you that can uh, chain you there is nothing on earth that can chain you or that can and and case you are so powerful that no chain no hammer nothing can engage you what the anvil what red grass there it's deadly terror slap so there is no one uh, to challenge you or to come in front of you so up to this uh, up to this part of the poem you see the poet or the speaker keeps asking a question again and again to uh, exalt the creation of the tiger to praise such a beautiful such an energetic creation then uh, in the fifth stanza you see what happens when the stars threw down their spears and watered heaven with their tears did he smile his work to see here you see the use of the word he did he who made the lamb make thee so perhaps you remember the poem the lamb in the songs of the innocence part so here is the reference of the the poem the lamb in this poem also you see and here is a biblical illusion is uh, used in this poem uh, in this uh, specific part uh, of the poem that when the stars this stars stands for the angels you know there is a story in the bible that when uh, god created human beings the angels rebelled against the god and uh, after uh, some times they realized their uh, fault and uh, surrendered to the god and at the time of surrendering uh, they cried and here the poet says that watered the heaven with their tears they cried so much that they nearly flooded the heaven with their tears and then poet says you see did he smile his work to see that at that point the poet or the speaker is wondering that at that point the god might have smiled watching that how powerful thing he is going to create or he has created and then you see what is the powerful thing the the powerful thing is the tiger so the god is very much proud of his creation the god here the what he stands for the god and with pride he is smiling watching at the watching at the revelous uh, angels then he says then the poet says did he that means did the god or the creator who made the lamb who made such a uh, such a mild figure such a weak figure like lamb 
make the so the uh, poet keeps wondering uh, is it the same person is it the is it the same creator who created lem also created you so the poet or the speaker do not have the answer he simply keeps questioning or wondering about the creation of such a an energetic or such a powerful thing like tiger then uh, we have reached to the last stanza you see tiger tiger burning bright in the forests of the night what immortal hand or eye dare frame thy fearful symmetry so this uh, stanza is actually uh, the repetition of the first stanza of the poem so that's all about the poem uh, i hope you got uh, this poem very well now uh, let me discuss some important things of this poem you see i have uh, pointed out those things in, uh, in the on the board the poem is contrast to the lamb you know uh, the lamb is a poem from the songs of innocence per and in that poem you you saw that the lamb was actually represented like a very innocent thing very mild very soft but in contrast the tiger is energetic is very powerful and is also uh, is also very aggressive one see then the main theme of the poem is creation origin and masterly of the creator so actually the poem uh, deals with these themes about the creation the origin and obviously the masterly of the creator of such a beautiful thing then here tiger represents the harder side of human mind you know this poem is from the songs of experience part you know in uh, the songs of experience part the harsh reality of human life is basically represented that's why the tiger is also a symbolic representation here the tiger actually represents the harder the harsh side of human uh, mind exactly that is exactly opposite to that of the lamb and you know uh, the uh, songs of innocence uh, and of experience or william blake is very famous for using so many imageries in his poem and this in the present point i'm also you will see that uh, a lot of imageries have been used for example i have pointed out some you see force of the night then you will find images like distant deeps and skies then you see you will find uh, for uh, images like fire and so on lastly i would like to say you something about the uh, presentation of the tiger and the lamb you know the lamb uh, in the innocence part is exactly opposite to that of the tiger of the experience part you may uh, ask why the poet actually presented the tiger uh, in this way actually you know the lamb represents the softness or affection or love that actually exists on earth but we know that the earth is not all good uh, it has some evil things also so by presenting the tiger in this way the uh, poet actually wanted to say that the world has some evil force also as this poem uh, is from the experience part we know in this uh, part actually poet wanted to show the bad things of the art so uh, dear students uh, i hope you got this whole lecture very well i hope i also hope that you will benefit from this lecture read out this poem very attentively try to listen to this lecture again and again and if any question uh, arises in your mind feel free to ask me in the comment section i will readily answer your uh, questions anytime so thank you so much uh, keep connected with our youtube channel and keep connected with our facebook group and facebook pages so that's all for today thank you